welcome and if you're new to the channel don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell to be notified of when we have new uploads. So in this video we are going to do a walkthrough on the base coat and clear coat stage on this BMW that we had in at the shop. So this particular car has been into us before and had the front door done so I knew that the colour that we've got is a bang on match for this car so we don't need to blend that front door as we've already been over that door in the past. So the customer brought this to us and it had quite a smack in this quarter panel right through this way's line so to get all that back right it took quite a, a, a larger repair than all than normal and it's also got a really bad clear coat blend up at the top of the quarter panel so we are going to re-blend the whole uh, we are going to re-clear the whole pillar on this car as well just to get rid of that clear coat blend up at the top so it seal everything up and make this car look a lot nicer. Now I always make sure to go around the car with the airline and get right in all the gaps and the rubbers and everything and get the tack rag around it with an airline to make sure we can get as rid of as much of the dust and as much of anything that's settled on the car as we can. Now I know a few of you are going to say well come on you know you're not wearing your paint suit and obviously that's going to add to the dust but on this particular day it was an extremely extremely hot day and I was in on a weekend and I just wanted to get this car basically done and dusted and get out and get home to the family. So as you can see I'm going around this really well with the tack rag I'm going to get all inside those rubbers and all those little gaps to make sure that anything that's trapped inside there is blown out and also just give a quick airline over the rest of the masking on the car as this was masked the night before so I could come in quickly and do it the next morning and obviously when I hit this with two bar when I'm clearing this car I don't want anything that's settled on the masking anywhere to then blow off when it gets the extra air pressure on it so I just want to make sure that anything that is loose is blown off before I start doing anything so for base coat we're going to be using the Iwata LS400 we're using a solvent base coat and it's two to one uh, base coat to thinners now I prefer to use slow thinners in solvent base coat because I find that the metallics and the lay down is a lot nicer with the colours. Now for the first coat we're just going to concentrate more on just giving this a really light I'd say 50-50 coat over this repair. Now I always start off like this to make sure that I can see if there's going to be any silicon problems or anything like that or any contaminants that are anywhere it's going to show up with any little pinholes or any little silicon marks in that first coat. Now for the next coat that we put on we put that on a lot better just making sure we've got some more coverage over that repair and then we're just going to give that a nice light tack ragger off just to make sure that any of, any of the blend areas around the back end of this quarter panel are just nice and clean and there's no heavy blend or any overspray on there that's going to cause us any issues and then we're going to go over it again with another uh, nice even coat just to try and make sure that all the metallics and everything are nicely settled out and nice and even across the panel. Um, a colour like this, I find if you finish a dark, you know, metallic grey like this too heavy, you will end up with a lot of issues with mottling in the panel. So it's better just to give it, or I personally give it, two nice light blend coats and effect coats like this, just to make sure that all that metallic in that paint is really nice and even and laid down on the panel and then just a nice light even blend out and your blend areas towards where the back on the bumper will be there and also just a tiny little bit on this quarter pillar just a little flick up that quarter pillar is enough because we know we've got a nice colour and a nice match for this colour to start off with and I'd say that's probably the biggest thing with this particular colour on this BMW it can be a bit of a pain if you do lay it down too wet so with the base coat stage over we are just going to leave that a little bit to flash off and then we're going to move on to the clear coat stage. So for the clear coat stage we are using the Iwata WS400 in a 1.3. The air pressure is set at 2 bar, the fluid for the first coat will be at 2.5 turns out and the fan all the way through will be set at 1.75 turns out from fully closed which is the optimal fan setting for this spray gun. Now, for the clear coat stage what we want to do is just concentrate on getting a nice even coat over the whole car we're not going to try and concentrate on getting a glassy finish we want a nice factory finish but before we even start putting the clear coat down we want to make sure that we go over this car and we really tack rag everything off well to make sure that any dry overspray or any dust or anything that's settled on this car is completely off the surface of this base coat before we start to put any clear coat down 
because at this stage if there's anything under there that's going to cause any issues and we just start clear coating over the top it's then going to be sealed in and it's going to become a problem also a good tip is to just whip around the edges of your poly masking as the dry over spray will land on those and when we start hitting this now with an extra bar of air pressure because we're now spraying at two bar rather than you know one to one and a half of the base coat we are going to dislodge anything that is on that poly masking so as far as clear coat goes now we do want to concentrate on getting one nice even wet coat on this car we don't want to be shooting for glass finish we are trying to put that factory finish on it so if there's a little bit of peel there it is not a problem now we're going to use a nice 50 50 overlap on the fan pattern and the one thing to make sure as you're going across this is that you keep that 50-50 overlap. You keep the same speed, the same distance and you keep your gun at a 90 degree angle from the panel at all times. If you keep those four things the same as you move across the panels and as you move across the car, you will end up with a nice even uniform finish across the car. Now we've just gone for that one nice light wet coat for the first coat now we're going to leave this around about 10 minutes to flash off and we're also going to turn the gun up now so we're using three turns out on the fluid so this second coat is just going to go down that little bit wetter but again the main things to concentrate on when you're going across this car now is that we keep this 50 50 overlap we keep the same distance the same speed and also again we keep that same angle that way the second coat is going to go down really nice and wet we're going to end up with the finish that we want which is a nice factory finish and the finish is going to be even from top to bottom, bottom and front to back on this panel which is one of the biggest things if you don't keep your overlaps and your distance and your angle and your speed the same you're going to end up with some areas that are dry some areas that are wet and you're just going to end up with an ununiform finish across the panel so if you guys have enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos going into a little bit more detail in the novice side of things then do drop a comment in the comment section and let me know and also if you guys have got any videos that you'd like to see let me know and we'll do our best to get into those and get those done for you. That's it for this video guys and I'll see you again soon for the next one. Bye for now.